What's going on guys, it's Gary, and today we're going to a pretty basic tutorial today, and this is going to be creating an advertisement room in Photoshop, and uh, believe it or not, a lot of people don't know how to do this, and it's actually really nice to learn how to do, just because it, you guys can create pretty much an endless amount of things. You guys can see right here, I just uh, made a quick one, and I added the uh, Obey Imagine Customs controller. So uh, it's actually really easy to do, and we're going to get right into it and not waste any time. So what you want to do is just pretty much start off with a, just a basic, um, a basic sorry a basic wallpaper just uh 1280 by 720 is fine or 1920 by 1080 what do you guys prefer um usually 7, 1280 by 720 usually works just because it's uh, not gonna be that hd in portfolios so the next thing i want to do is just pretty much go to your color picker and just pick like a nice little uh gray color and you guys can just test it out in your background like this make sure it's not too dark and it's not too bright just because you don't want to just overpower because you're gonna have a gradient the next thing i want to do is hit Control h and then double click on your background and then hit Control T. You want to drag one of these rulers straight into the middle, and this is going to be a important part just because you guys need to find the middle. So after that's done, you're gonna hit Control H again. They should pop up. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the middle. Let me just check. Yeah, it's the middle. So uh, the next thing you guys want to do is pretty much make a new layer and you guys want to add a gradient to it so what you want to do is click on your paint bucket go to gradient tool and then right here if you guys click this bottom arrow there should be a gradient that goes from this little checkerboard to a color what you want to do is click that and then click in the colors itself and then grab the one over to the left and make it black so uh, basically making this black is what it's going to do is create that gradient itself and then what you want to do is just pretty much drag it down a little bit just like maybe to the middle so it's like half of it and then you can just drag it to the bottom so it starts here so all you want to do is hit control h again and then take your opacity and just lower the opacity until you see a nice little gradient fade and then take your eraser tool um make sure the size is about give or take um a little bit around 300 and then the hardness on zero and it kind of just erase the hard edges in the corners just because it creates more of an effect and then of course you can go back in your opacity and layer lower it down a little bit. So around 11 to uh, 15 is good. So basically you guys are almost done with your Lightroom or already your uh, pretty much your pack thing. Next thing you want to do is just make a new layer and this is going to be your light source or your uh, overhead light. And what you do is click on your brush and then make sure the brush brush size is about a thousand or so. And just pretty much make one huge brush on the top corner. And this is going to create a white glare. And you guys might not see it. Make sure your color's on white. That's what I didn't do. I'm still using that gray color. Make sure your color's on white. And just kind of click it as close as you can in the middle. And just lower the opacity to about 56 or so. So uh, this is pretty much the Lightroom already. It doesn't really look that hard to do. But uh, adding your images can be a little bit of excuse me, a little bit of a hassle. So right here I have an Obey Imagine Customs Controller I found off Google. And you're going to pretty much just drag it in. And it might be a little too big for the size, but that doesn't matter. You guys can shrink it. You guys are big boys now. So you want to shrink it to about a comfortable size. Make sure that your computer doesn't do that. And just hit enter. And let's just say we're going to put this straight in the middle. So that's smack in the middle. Right here. So uh, we're going to put the controller. So it's not exactly in the middle, but a little bit up. And then you're going to hit control J on it edit transform and then flip vertically bringing this down now you guys want to have the ends touching each other this works for anything you're doing and then it's lower the opacity to like 30 and then grab your eraser tool and kind of just erase the bottom like this so it's just a nice fade so uh, after you're done with this next thing you want to do is go to filter blur and go to Gaussian blur and you want to put the blur amount to about like 1.5 maximum and it's hit okay and then you guys will have this nice little blur. So the next thing you guys want to do is pretty much create shadows on the controller itself. So what we're going to do is make a new layer, put it below the two controllers, and then go to your ellipse tool right here under the square. Make sure it's black, and then just create a nice little oval, and this will look shadow. And then put that wherever you want. Make sure it's like it's behind the controller and in front, so it's like you guys can see that it creates a little casting shadow. Go to blur, Gaussian blur. 
and the same thing here you guys want to put a gaussian blur on it about 3.5 um nothing too much and nothing too less you guys need to make sure it's a little bit and then once you lower the opacity to about 35 or so it really can really see the uh, shadow so you bring it to the other side too and you guys got that so far so well uh, this is pretty much how to create your own advertisement um backing or room and it's actually really easy to do it only took about five minutes to do and there's really nothing else you guys need to learn if you guys are doing different colored things you guys can change the color you guys can add stocks to it it's pretty much all up to you and uh i really hope this informs you guys as before when we added the light what do you want to do make sure the light is always above everything just so it creates a nice glare and just lower that again a little bit maybe 25 is good and just creates a nice glare and blends everything together really smoothly so uh this is pretty much it if you guys are using other images let's just say we go to google and we type in hmm, razor mouse razor mouse uh png you guys can literally use anything it's pretty endless let's find like a frontal view of it actually maybe we'll use a keyboard Razer keyboard PNG. Speaking of keyboards, um, with computer wise, my computer has an estimated shipping of February 2nd, just in case anybody's wondering. So basically, I'm using my laptop now, and it's actually holding up really well, um, providing that it's really old. So, uh, enough about that. What do you want to do after you get this keyboard dragged in? Pretty much bring it in, and the same thing, you guys just want to size it. And just pretty much put it in the middle. It's the same deal. Um, if you guys are doing anything else, make sure you guys just hide the uh, hide the other controller or something. So it's basically the same thing. Put it in the middle, and then hit Control J, Edit, Transform, Flip Vertically. Put it right there, and then just lower the opacity, and then take your eraser and just erase the bottom just like that so uh that's basically it. it um it's really endless of what you guys can do with this lightroom it looks really nice if you guys use controllers and stuff on this as we've done before and uh it doesn't really get that much harder so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did let me know in the comments below we're gonna be doing some uh basic tutorials but you guys are gonna need to know these for when you guys are going into more professional use and also trying to get into those clans because those banner designs unless you're like sore uh not sore but you're red partial or someone like that then you guys are pretty much out of luck and you guys really want to start uh, going to advertisement and stuff. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments below. As I said before, also tutorial suggestions will be much appreciated in the comments below. Also, last thing I want to say to you guys that uh, 35 likes, I'll be re releasing the uh, PSD for this advertisement room. And I hope to see you guys there. So I uh, hope you guys see you guys in the next video. Peace out.